What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Okay, so we learned the basics of the import dialog box, and then we brought our image into Lightroom, and then we learned the details of the import dialog box. Now let's actually go and create an import preset and do it one more time, this time using our preset. So what we're gonna do is I wanna remove these images from my catalog, but I don't wanna delete them. The easiest way to do this is just to go into my folders under my left side panel. We're gonna remove this original folder from the catalog by right clicking and just selecting remove. This is gonna remove them from the catalog, but it's not gonna delete them from the disk, okay? So we wanna click remove. Now they're gone. What we're gonna do now is get back into our import dialog box. So we're gonna do so by hitting Control shift i or Command shift i on a Mac. And now we're gonna select our source again. We have the Lightroom 4 A to Z catalog already selected. We just need to select this originals folder. And the images are already in the correct place. So we don't need to copy or move them. We're just gonna add them back to the catalog. So we're gonna select add. We're gonna have everything checked, so just if not if it's not all checked, you're gonna hit check all, but it's our it should default to checking everything. Next on the right side, we're gonna to go to render previews. We're gonna set it to minimal if it's not already. We're gonna check the don't import suspected duplicates. I don't need them to, to make copies, so we're gonna go move on now. We're gonna to go to develop settings. Now we haven't set up any default develop settings. When we get to that point in the develop module, we'll actually come back to the import uh, the import preset and update the preset with a new develop setting. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as none. And then you guys will remember that in the last tutorial, uh, in when we customized Lightroom, we actually created a metadata preset for SRL Lounge. So select that here, the SRL Lounge generic preset for metadata. And then we're gonna leave the keywords blank. And that's great. These are the settings that I wanna have for my import preset. Now I'm gonna to go to down here where it says import preset and it has none. And what we're gonna do is hit save current settings as a new preset. We're gonna hit SR Lounge generic import. You guys can name it whatever you guys want. This is just so that you guys understand how to create import presets. So now check this out. I have an LJP preset, which is what we do when we want to import images for linear photography. And that has the develop settings and metadata settings for LJP. So when I select SR Lounge, it automatically switches my settings because my File handling is the same in both. You don't see that changing, but it's actually storing the settings for file handling as well. All right, so if you ever want to remove or delete, you guys can go into this menu. You can rename, delete, and restore them to default or save a new preset out from this menu right here. All right, guys, so we're gonna finish up by hitting import. This now will bring in all of our images. If we go and we look at the metadata, we're gonna see that it has our contact information and our copyright information from that SR Lounge generic preset applied. And that's applied to all the images that we imported. So great job, we've learned the standard import process and now we're gonna move on to other ways to import images into Lightroom.